I love kung fu movies, so let's see if this can top master the flying guillotine. It's jiu-jitsu, and I'm excited to see. This is probably an Oscar contender. <laughs> I took jiu-jitsu, uh, so let's just watch the movie and see if they're as good as me. You know what I don't understand? How the hell are you still alive? Okay, so we've got a revenant. I haven't seen that before with Leo DiCaprio. So it's Predator? Wait, is this Predator? It's been a pretty bad fall. Can you wear those hats anymore? The comet you see in the sky right now passes over the Earth every six years and causes a portal. This sounds like a, a Nicolas Cage voice that's galaxy. like very raspy. And there's the plot that will provide the background for all this crazy action and fighting. The spaceman. <laughs> what doesn't he do? How the hell is Nicolas Cage still making movies? If he doesn't get it, was that Tony Ja? And he kills everything. That is alien politics five through fifteen. Nicolas Cage is gonna Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Wait, what is this movie? Did the MMA need money? What is this? Frank Grillo, that second tier bad guy from Avengers. <laughs> this movie is so ridiculous. Tony Ja, I knew it. He's crazy, like me. Face off. <laughs> yes, special effects. I love a good roundhouse. There's no honor in killing crazy. Did they just let Nicolas Cage do his own dialogue? And then Nicolas Cage says something Nicolas Cagey. I can fly too. <laughs> what? What <laughs> All right. Uh... Yeah, if you do enough drugs, anyone can fly. All right. A lot. Too, too much crouching. Need more hidden dragon. And I'm sure it will be an exciting ride to go see it in theaters. <laughs> Okay, I learned a few things. I learned that Nicolas Cage, his raspy voice may actually be good for a broken Batman. I learned that uh, Nicolas Cage is not about the alien politics and that he could fly. I think I'll take a hard pass on this one, but uh, if it's your kind of thing, well, you enjoy it then. <laughs>